and you can see I'm shedding a tear, but because of the memories, as I reflect of what I had to go through to get to this point, to liberate myself, to get to the point that I can say that this is not working for me. And when I look and try to pull the resources together, it was because, are you really abused? You have a home? You're highly educated. Why? The question is, why are you in that abusive relationship? Why have you stayed so long in the abusive relationship? Well, there's all the emotional stuff that's going on. I love my, I loved my partner. I love my family. I didn't want to break my, my family up. And I was looking at ways and means of making this work. And that's why I stayed. And that's a simple and direct answer. But instead you're made, made to feel as if you're stupid. No one needs to feel that. It's like you should know better. Well, don't you know what abuse is? We all do. We all know. The simple fact is, as you work through the challenges in life, sometimes you're able to make decisions immediately. Sometimes you make decisions midterm. And sometimes it takes you forever. It depends on the kind of support. It depends on your level of understanding. It depends on your level of acceptance and your tolerance. And it's your belief. I believe I can change this. I believe I can make it work. And until you come to the realization that it's really not working, and when you reach out for support, it's what kind of support you get. All those things come into the pot to help you to make the decision that I don't need to be in this. So, I hope that helps, that for the women that are going through the, and experiencing the abuse, it's when you put your head around it and, and ultimately say, is this working for me or is it not? Is it building me up or is it breaking me down? Is it enhancing anything for me or is it destroying me? So when we look at all these factors is, what works and what doesn't work. 